Time now for Focus. And uh, this week, we've been announcing the new members of the UNESCO World Heritage Status, the likes of Strasbourg's German Quarter and Britain's Lake District, joining a prestigious list of culturally and historically important sites. Well, one that's already been on the list for close to 40 years can attest to the boost that the accolade gives to tourism, Dubrovnik. More than a million people took in the beautiful Croatian walled city last year, but Dubrovnik is becoming a victim of its own success, with UNESCO even threatening to take the old city off its World Heritage List. Ambrine Bedida from our sister channel France 2 explains why. With its clear blue sea and impressive city walls, Dubrovnik has become a dream destination for European tourists, a bit too popular, according to some people. By plane or by cruise ship, the city welcomes thousands of holidaymakers every day. Bonjour. Tourists have taken over the city. Tour guides and their groups lurk on every street corner. During the high season, as these photos show, entering the old town can seem like a mission impossible. Even some tourists here are overwhelmed by the sheer number of visitors. I thought this area was going to be quieter. Maybe this is the less nice part of Dubrovnik? It's normal. If there's something beautiful to see here, then obviously there'll be lots of people who'll come. It's become a sort of theme park. Either that or you have to get here really early in the morning, like at 5 a.m. so you can take good photos. And it's the same story beyond the city's walls. Long lines for buses and roads blocked by traffic. Look around, it's a lawless jungle here. There are buses, shuttles. <laughs> Ivo is a member of a rights association based in Dubrovnik. He knows the city well and feels that tourism management here has been poorly organised. This is Prieco Road. It's known for its restaurants, but there are no rules regarding how many tables you can set up in the streets or where. Sometimes you can't even get past. Some of the vendors, however, enjoy the busy crowds. I think it's a good thing that there are so many tourists. It helps my business. Dubrovnik is a beautiful city. People have the right to make the most of it. But others say that tourist figures have led to a loss in revenue, like this gallery owner. The people are walking, drinking and eating. This is something ridiculous because we have beautiful coastline, beautiful parks. Last Saturday we had 10,000 tourists in, in uh, Dubrovnik. I have three shifts in the gallery and our income was zero. More and more locals are choosing to move out of the city centre. From 5,000 permanent residents 20 years ago, now there are barely 1,500. Uh, they don't consider neither that we are living above, huh? Mm -hmm. we, uh, last night it was such a noise down, just three young fellows, drunk. So everyone moved out in the past couple of years. <laughs> they sold the houses. They sold the houses and they're now apartments for tourists. Over the past few years, tourism numbers have exploded in Dubrovnik. UNESCO has expressed concern and warned the Croatian government that the old city risks losing its world heritage status. For the city's mayor, the best way to control the masses is to monitor them. He's installed five cameras around different entrance points to the old city. OK, so over here we have a camera that's actually counting uh, the number of people entering uh, in the uh, old city of Dubrovnik. Exactly 6,504 tourists, in fact. So the maximum that uh, Dubrovnik uh, old town could hold, 8,000. More than that, oh, we have a security problems in the case of the fire, in the case of any problem uh, in the old town. If they're planning on doing a day trip to the old town, visitors will have to book a ticket in advance and they'll only get up to four hours to explore the area. Tourists aren't so sure about these new restrictions. It might be a good measure, uh, but I think the mayor also needs to consider the fact that this tourism is bringing probably a lot of income to the, to the city. It stops the kind of tourists that like the fly and fly out tourists, you know, the people that just come in to go, oh, we'll go see Dubrovnik, take some photos. 
But the streets of Dubrovnik will probably not just empty from one day to the next. Tourist figures in the first five months of the year were up by 20% when compared to the same period in 2016.